The Wound, which is a um, very interesting film, directed by John Trengrove, um, South African film about the... It's a strangely subversive drama about circumcision and manhood rituals amidst the Xosa, uh, hang on, Xosa community. Um, I, I'm, my pronunciations are I always terrible. Xosa. No, but it's X H. Yes, it's, it's, so it has a click. But it's a click. I, I, I don't think you're expected to say Xosa uh, with a with a click unless you are indeed Xosa. So yourself. just do it again for so just Xosa. I think Xosa is exactly. Okay, yes. thank you for getting me out of that particular thing. So central character Quanda, who is a young man from Johannesburg, he's been sent by his father to take part in a traditional ritual whereby the men are sent out to live in huts. They Each one is given a carer. There is the circumcision ritual after which they have to live in the hut while they heal. And during the course of this, they are meant to become men. They're meant to be a journey to manhood in which they you know, they learn what it takes to be a man. Quanda's father says very clearly on, very clearly early on, I want you to be tough on my son, suggesting that he thinks that somehow his city life has uh, you know, made him too soft. Too soft is the phrase that he uses. But it's also clear that he wants him to become a man in the traditional sense of the word. And very much what the movie is about is what that means. His care, it then turns out, is someone who is also deep is kind of deeply conflicted about his own masculinity. He's been having a relationship with another man, Vija, who is also has a wife and kids, and yet their relationship only ever comes together during these annual rituals, which are off on a remote mountain. Kwanda is much more at home with his own sexuality, is increasingly dis- disenchanted with the, the sort of the macho rituals himself. At one point he says to the carer, you want me to stand up and be a man, but you can't do it yourself. So what it is, is on the one hand, it's a coming of age story, although the the character of the coming of age are not necessarily the young character. On the other hand, it's uh, it's a film which has caused controversy. There was some controversy when it first came, when it was first played at the cinema circuit about, oh, this is a you know white director coming in and making this film about a, a culture which, you know, which is not their culture. The script, however, is co-written by Tando Mozana, who wrote, this book um who wrote a man is not a man which provided the inspiration and she also you know was uh, also worked on the script itself and i thought the script seemed to be very well researched very adventurous and very balanced i mean what you're getting is this sort of i know that some people have made the kind of you know broke back mountain comparison but what you get is this story which is essentially about what it means to you know to be a man and what that what that sort of idea of manliness and the way in which it's it's it mutates the way in which it changes the way in which it doesn't mean what you expect it to mean and what it really means to accept yourself to not have to hide behind some other character and i thought what was what was really fascinating about it was that when when you consider that the world in which this is that this is taking place is you know very very far removed from the world with, with which I'm familiar, and yet the themes that it's dealing with are very very universal. And it, it, there is something about there's a real talent in making a movie about a very specific circumstance, a very specific milieu, but giving the audience the sense that while they're watching it, on the one hand they're getting an insight into a world that they may not have known about, but also what they're watching is a story that has real universal appeal. It's about, you know, it's about love and, you know, sexuality and tenderness and all those things. But it's also about that sort of burden of expectation and what it means to be a man coming of age. I thought it was very well done. It's called The Wound. It's got quite a wide release. I mean, obviously not as wide as Avengers Infinity War, but it is well worth checking out.